but the minute I saw this ad at uh, this uh, workshop, I was like, this is perfect, this is exactly what I need. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. Um, I think this workshop is going to give me like a new set of perspective, a new set of eyes, because all I know about books is related to literature and criticism. The book that is called Digging Up the Past, but we're showing uh, pages of um, as a kind of table of contents of another book. But in the artist book, there are all these things uh, in the book that you can read and understand without hearing someone talking about the book. So the artist book is about finding out what is your proper subject and what is the most essential in the subject, how to approach the subject, and if it's about time, waiting, writing. So I, I focus on semantic awareness, which is awareness of the body and the movement, and self-discovery, of course. And they know where to cut, and, mm -hmm. you know, with all the details, and I also put this animation, so... This is some of the experiment. Uh, we actually print on... Uh, uh, in silk. Yeah. It's very delicate, and it's... You know, working with the, such uh, fabric, it's very difficult to, to handle with that. It's like, uh, it's another kind of vandalism. It's, uh, it's an uh, abandoned uh, uh, street. We have, um, this is a three minutes exposure. Mm -hmm. Three minutes. Three and minutes. this is a six minutes
Because it's just, yesterday it's different color, right? Yeah. yeah. I will put it for a few minutes. He used the dating, so he added the dates, and I believe this is because it's uh, Corona era, and he talked about it, so. Maybe that's the, the reason he put the date there. Yeah, yeah. It has photos, like literally, no, no text whatsoever. And it basically shows, invites the reader into the performance these two guys are doing. And I just, out of curiosity, I searched for them and I found videos in YouTube and it's exactly the same as the photos. It's silent and they pose for a very long time in these positions. First of all, the publisher is Center Pompidou. Mm -hmm. And I uh, so I love the texture of the paper because it's matte, very matte, and the quality of it is really nice themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you can see it here. It's amazing. I mean the artworks here, especially this one, I loved it. The artist she, she took like a wire and she tied herself. And she scanned herself and then this. Oh yeah, that's she really shows strong. the struggle. Mm -hmm. See everyone. The book is called The World Is All That Is The Case and I was I was very confused by it and I was like I want to know why it's it's called I want to know what that means and then I googled it and before I knew there was this thing that explained everything about the book. And then right next to them there's a there's like a passage from the part that they're reading if I understand correctly and uh, yeah it doesn't necessarily make sense because it's out of context. Uh, but published. Why would why would anyone want to publish a book about death? So she showed them um, all the photos of her parents in the last three years that she eventually spends photographing them is in black and white, but she included all the the text and the messages and the written notes and all of the love that they shared when they met. The method she used in printing was catching from, from the beginning. Yeah, through yeah. yeah. I didn't understand how, how, how she printed. She is so, putting the photographic uh, liquid that takes ages, and then she puts um, the light sensitive gel on the paper and exposes it. process here is going on here, and when I open the book, it shows me, yes, it's all zoomed in uh, pictures. He's uh, asking a really good question, where is art? And yeah, <laughs> and the thing is, because we talked today also about the, the, how artists survive and the money, so he is addressing a lot of uh, issues that uh, artists face. So I, s I found that things are superimposed on each other, each picture has more than one layer. So I think there are messages here about what we are doing to the environment and how we're destroying the forests and, and uh, intruding on nature. I mean, I picked it up because I like the nut. That's why I picked this book up. Bye. 
I actually think it's nice to have them on your hands because you can feel better how the color comes into your object. Strong, but so you can see some kind of shapes. With the ropes, it's also really beautiful. You want to hold? This one? Yeah. This yeah. is a soap that will fix the pain. <laughs> just photographs without text and then the book starts. But the book starts actually a substantial amount of pages later than usually the book starts. This um, text phase, we decided with the designer that we don't have page numbers, but we introduced the single stones of that mountain. Or most of the governments now are walking on this, you know, when you photograph on the public, all of that thing. I remember, what's his name? Richard Prince. Yeah. He, he, he did a show. He took most of his picture from the Instagram. And then he knows when he took the picture, there will, the people will sue him. the subtle moments because to me I think the connections that we make with other humans the stories that we can tell from them capturing the beauty in essence but at the same time it's really I I've built so many stories and narratives with each 
each person in this workshop that I'm very happy to call inspirational and also friends. From the, from the desert, yeah. And I printed here. There's a few pictures. I, I took my disposable pen camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So when we talk about our, our shoes, so you can uh, to learn this stuff, and then I actually printed the actual photo. This is uh, this is the photo itself. So I I taped it here uh, because it just means a lot to me, and I I really love this photo. So actually, um, let's start from the desert because everyone is talking about it. I just took picture for uh, some of the box and try to play with them and uh, print it on um, uh, transparent paper, which I use for printmaking. Uh, and I actually, with Susanna and Alex, they are really inspired me because I really wanted to do a, a book. Uh, and also, we went to, to the desert to take some photos. So we see here like a human and we flip the picture. There's like uh, small animals in the desert, mm -hmm. maybe that thing. Yeah, so this is another way to see the pictures, maybe. And here I have like uh, uh, photos that uh, we took in the desert, but I hide it because uh, we found like a bottle. And it really changed my way to think about desert because it may be uh, people go there to hide something or it's like forbidden yeah. something here. Mm -hmm. So it's like maybe they feel the desert is a safe place. Mm -hmm. Um, so a part of my research of um, being an artist and expressing is uh, identifying my identity crisis that I have between Saudi and Syria, since I'm Syrian, and I inspired me to kind of take this book, this art book, as a uh, as a research, basically. Here it's my mom's passport, and I covered her face for mystery. And so I'm thanking Susan and Dr. Uh, uh, so this book is about our eighth journey. This um, is the important photo from our journey. Uh, this is me with uh, Amani. This <laughs> book has been uh, at this son. Uh, yeah. He has also been there. Very good. Yeah, I bring some stuff from my studio. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it's there. So. It's like you have some floating materials. Mm -hmm. And this is the horse. Actually, I'm happy that I gave him a copy. So. I'm just uh, just you know, this is like uh, presenting. The, yeah. uh, I like this object because it's like. Uh, you know, you're like the inspector. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I started off with the same project as Susanna to ask us, and then I decided to shift. I printed a picture of me and my students. They always find me like a tree, and I use the, the tree as a metaphor a lot in my classes. A lion toy that we found in the desert. Mm -hmm. To me, uh, the lion represents uh, so much in the Iraq culture. So, usually, uh, Objects that I used here are propaganda from the Gulf War, the year I was born in. And, uh, and I used this technique to print it for, on the other page. Uh, and I want, first of all, to thank uh, uh, Susan and Alexander for this uh, beautiful workshop. I loved it, and as you said, it's like a beginning, so we're here to experiment, that's it. So don't expect anything from me, so I have just a little. I try to take pictures and try to, to match them together, so uh, to, make, to make like an, an artwork, because you told us that it should be more creative, we work on the creativity side. And, I mean, it, it won't be like, like, we should work to make it, uh, to make the book creative and unique, so I tried to find something like, like, like an idea, just to give an idea. I tried to, to draw something to match with it. We tried to, to print it. Yes. <laughs> See how everyone has expressed themselves in their own individual ways. 
it's a, it's a, it's a great pleasure. And uh, mine is nothing. <laughs> I have nothing in here. Only this, because I was afraid to dirty the book. Yeah. <laughs>